A hot air balloon is a simple aircraft. It requires an envelope, propane fuel, a burner, and a pilot. But these basic parts can be combined in an infinite number of creative ways. At the 9th annual XLTA event, held in Connecticut in September, balloon pilots who design and build their own experimental lighter-than aircraft gather to fly, share ideas, and enjoy some beautiful flying above the New England countryside. Pilot Noah Forden designed a sturdy rig that holds a propane tank and a fully rotating seat. Zachary Windell likes to launch and land on his feet. Here's Zach to tell us more about the details of his experimental aircraft. My balloon is unique. I have two composite tanks from Scandinavia. You can see the propane level directly, so you don't need a fuel gauge. And I have a home-built uh, harness, I call a stirrup harness. It's all part of this uh, Skywalker system, where I have full dexterity of my legs. And so when I land, I can cushion, cushion my landing with my legs. These are very safe in fire because they're composite and they don't blevy, which is a, a big explosion that's bad for propane, and they're non-conductive. Morgan Calderini, another of the XLTA pilots, designed and built her own hot air balloon while still a student in art school. I, I feel such confidence flying something that I've actually built myself. I know exactly how every line is tied, how every stitch has been put in, and there's something so rewarding um, and just it's kind of unlike anything else to be able to be up there in the sky and know that you put yourself there. Paul Stumpf has been building and designing balloons for over 30 years. His latest creation aims to solve the perennial problem of needing a ground crew by carrying along its own retrieval system with a bicycle and a trailer suspended from the envelope. So the whole balloon system without propane only weighs 133 pounds, it would actually qualify as an ultralight. Um, but to take a passenger, I needed to go with the amateur build and get an end number and do that. So um, that's why I went that route. And then the next step was to try to integrate it into a bicycle retrieval system. Phase two will be in integrating the trailer uh, into the balloon tank and seat assembly. Uh, so it'll all be uh, one unified unit that becomes more portable and then playing with ways to attach the bicycle to the balloon and maybe using folding bicycles or other things. But that's the fun of experimental balloons is just uh, try it. If it doesn't break, improve on it. If it does break, improve on it more <laughs> and have fun. The 10th annual XLTA gathering is already in the works for September 2014. For more information, go to xlta.org. This is Mary Grady reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.